You're not, you're not, we're not performing ponies. We're not dogs balancing plates on our noses. Do you ever find yourself overwhelmed by emotion? Yes. Yes, it does happen. The journey of getting Kate Blanchett on board this film started with a car crash. Yes, I crashed my car um, when I was on the phone with, with Kate's agent, uh, begging her to read the script, and she was telling me that, that she wasn't available for three years. Um, and she took pity on me after that, knowing that I totaled my car, and said, okay, if you send it to me, I'll, 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 I'll take a look. Um, and then she called me several hours later, very um, certain, and said, you're right, she has to, she's the only one that can play this part. No one else can play this part. I said, yes, I agree with you. She said, okay, well, let's try to figure out a way to make this happen. <laughs> Why uh, was Kate the only actor you could imagine for this role? I mean, the, aside from the obvious things, which is that she's a generational artist and she's, you know, uh, she's an important artist and she has a, a, a peculiar skill set that not many people who are practitioners of, of this art have, have possessed. I mean, she's as seminal as Brando or Pacino or, or, or um, Streep. I mean, she's she's somebody that has magical abilities, you know, that not not everybody has. Please, 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 you must watch. Das ist ganz frei hier, okay? There are so many aspects to both of your roles in this film. There's, of course, getting to know your characters, but there's also, for you, Kate, there's speaking German, playing the piano, conducting. For Junior, there's playing the violin. Did you possess any of these skills beforehand? And could you talk a little bit about the process of, of learning the rest? Well, you've, you've played the violin a few times. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, I was I was fortunate, I must say, that I because uh, I could start at a different level for this project here because I had twice before picked up this instrument and tried to learn it as much as I could, and um, yeah, it, and it, you know the whole process on working in on a technical level and a practical level on learning the instrument, it also while you're on this way on this road, it tells you you learn so much about the character. You, you do what these characters are doing. You do music <laughs> and, you, and you, you learn about the composers, you learn about the, the whole way uh, an orchestra is structured and, and all of that. And then what the position for Sharon now as a concert master means, I, I had no idea. What about you, Kate? Did you know any conducting or piano or German beforehand? I mean, I'd learned piano as a girl, and um, mm. and so it was really wonderful to come back to it in a very practical way. And starting with the Bach, which has such a, um, which I had to play in a teaching moment. You know, like it wasn't a, I wasn't a concert pianist, and I, and, and I wasn't playing a concert pianist. It, I had to play with the Bach in order to. Um, it's not a show pony moment. Um, it, it's more I'm playing it to try and, as part of the scene, as a tool to try and communicate something. So it had a very specific purpose. Um, but it was a joy for, for music to come back into my life. And as for the conducting, it's not a film about conducting, but it was really important that the audience absolutely unassailably believed that she had the right to, to be on that podium and that she was a master of her craft. So. You know, I, I understood, I had many, as an actor, many years on stage, I had a lot of communication tools of my arsenal because conductors don't just shape the sound with their hands, they do it with their chest, their body position, their facial posture, um, you know, but, and I watched hours and hours and hours of various different conductors working to try and then find the way in which Lydia might conduct. And also to use those moments, those rehearsal moments, to try and reveal something of the psychology of the character. Because in the end, all of these skills, you're not up there saying, you're not, you're not, we're not performing ponies. We're not dogs balancing plates on our noses. You know, it's, you, you have to keep the narrative going. So, you know, all of these skill sets were only in service to telling the story. Go and see Thank it in you. the cinema. Go and see the film in the cinema.